Hello, everyone. This is Mike Izbitsky, Technical Evangelist with Salt Security, and welcome to an episode of Anatomy of an API Attack. In today's episode, we are going to be diving into credential stuffing and account takeover. Now, to understand how attackers achieve account takeover, we need a little bit of background knowledge on how they automate uh, their API requests. Uh, and the ways they do that are actually very similar to how uh, application developers would work with APIs or API designers or uh, security testing teams. Uh, the tooling can be very similar. Uh, and you'll see some, some of those options here, uh, extensible intercepting proxy tools like Portswagger Burp Suite or OWASP Z Attack Proxy are very common tools of the trade. Uh, and if you are more in the design uh, time, world of APIs, you're, you're likely working with Postman. Uh, maybe you're in QA, right? And you're working with uh, Selenium automation frameworks or Appium, uh, or, you know, maybe, maybe you prefer to write uh, code directly to exercise APIs, which is uh, certainly possible. Right? And I'd say in the world of security, it's, it might be more common to find uh, Python code or scripts to uh, invoke APIs. And there's, there's many uh, tools or libraries you can you can uh, include to uh, also call APIs uh, such as curl or httpy to invoke requests from the command line. And here you'll see a picture of uh, Burp Suite, uh, particularly the Burp Intruder. Uh, and this is a uh, pretty powerful functionality. This is often why um, uh, security teams uh, do, do prefer uh, Burp Suite. Uh, OWASP Z Attack Proxy does have uh, similar capabilities. Uh, but if you're unfamiliar with this tool, uh, it, it really allows you to in, um, replay requests from uh, prior, prior captured traffic. Uh, and then you can insert uh, payloads into requests, right? So now I, I don't have to craft the request entirely from scratch. I can just take a pre existing one that's uh, well formatted. So uh, the application and API. Uh, work you know, as expected, but now I can start to manipulate things. Uh, and in this case, uh, I'm really just trying to insert something into um, uh, a cookie uh, or a parameter here to uh, get get something back in the API response. Uh, you know, in the case of uh, account takeover, this is likely going to be um, a user name or password, right? Uh, because we are going to be doing uh, credential stuffing or brute forcing to achieve that account takeover. Uh, Burp Intruder, you know, if you're not, again, if you're not familiar, there are uh, multiple payload types you can insert, right? So they've, they've kind of uh, taken away a lot of the difficulty in doing this, right? That's great for security teams, uh, but also great for attackers, right? It, it simplifies things. Uh, so we do see cases where attackers use Burp Suite uh, to perpetuate their attacks. Uh, but yeah, you can insert a lot of different types of uh, character sets, um, numbers, uh, different scripts around that, right? If you want to enumerate through values, all right, it's going to depend on how the, the backend API is coded. And then you just start the automated stack, right? Very simple. Um, and, and we're kind of on our way, right? So now Burp, Burp Suite is going to start initiating those requests and then uh, doing what it needs to within the payloads of, as we've defined. Now with credential stuffing, uh, there is kind of a specific attack sequence, right? The first is the attacker has to perform reconnaissance of a given target and its APIs. Uh, usually that's a login API in this case, right? Because we're trying to uh, obtain working uh, user credentials um, to authenticate and authorized uh, to functionality or data. Uh, the attacker has to compile a data set of pilfered credentials. Uh, there's many ways to do that. We're actually gonna talk about that in a second. Uh, the attacker configures their automation tool with throttling. Uh, so we just saw how we would configure something like Burp Suite, but maybe it's code, right? So we're going to have to make those adjustments in our code. Uh, we're going to want to throttle, and I'm going to cover that uh, a little bit more deeply in a minute. And then we launch the attack against the uh, login API. And then as an attacker, we have to track successes and failures. Uh, we're likely gonna be distributing this uh, and launching multiple requests in parallel, right? Cause we wanna kind of uh, accelerate how quickly we can find working credentials. And then once we find a, uh, a working one, uh, which would likely be indicated with a HTTP 200 success uh, message, uh, then we know we've, we've essentially achieved account takeover. 
Uh, attackers do distribute their automated attacks, right? Uh, they're likely going to be geographically distributed to uh, subvert uh, rate limits and IP address allow and deny lists. Uh, and there's going to be many instances of automation code running. Uh, they could certainly spin up instances in cloud. Uh, that, that's a very common uh, attack technique. Uh, and, you know, they typically aim to be low and slow, right? They want to blend into uh, the other API traffic so they look like uh, legitimate, you know, user authentications and failures, right? Uh, normal In normal usage, uh, sometimes users forget their passwords. That does happen. So failures are going to be there in the traffic. Uh, so it can be very hard to detect credential stuffing if it is done very stealthily, uh, which is why account takeover is such a high uh, risk for a lot of organizations. Uh, you might be asking, where do I get the credentials to uh, perform credential stuffing. Uh, there's many ways to do it, right? There's been no shortage of breaches. Uh, there's the compilation of many breaches or comb. That is a data set of over 3.2 billion email and password combinations. Uh, pretty crazy. Uh, maybe that's not all useful for the given API that the attacker is trying to target, uh, but it's there, right? And um, uh, useful for credential stuffing attacks. And how do we throttle? Uh, again, going back to that uh, Burp Suite example with Burp Intruder, uh, it's another capability if they've built into uh, Burp Suite itself, right? So now I can uh, control how many threads I want to spin up uh, within that instance, right? We still have many instances of Burp Suite we'd be running. Uh, how many times we want to try that? Uh, what's the delay between retries, right? So I can uh, really throttle this down to evade rate limits, which, you know, in most cases, that's uh, how organizations are trying to protect their APIs, right? Uh, they're mediating the APIs, they're implementing network access controls. Uh, so they're, they're looking at, uh, they're looking for excessive rate requests. Uh, so attackers do uh, throttle their requests down. Uh, and that's kind of it, right? That's the basics of credential stuffing in this case, uh, but how attackers do perform credential stuffing in order to achieve account takeover.